Okay, today we're working on Case 12 boat or Dana 4.75 front axles. So Dana used this, or, or Case used this axle from Dana from uh, the beginning of the LMXs all the way up through the Magnum Tier 4A and Tier 4B. They changed to a CNH style axle. So there's a ton of these axles out there. It's also the same on the Ford. So the MX, the Magnums, T8s, T8000, and TGs. So it fits a whole lot of uh, applications. And there's, a, there's some quirks in them. So today we're gonna give a little show and tell of how to, how to help us help you. So obviously 12 boats is pretty easy. Uh, you count your boat, so you know, if it's inside your hub or inside your wheel, and the 10 is quite a bit smaller. It also has the five dimples, and the four dimples represent a planetary gear, and the other dimple is where the pinion shaft goes. So that's the easiest way to identify it, as there's layers to it. So we know you got a 12 boat Dana front axle. So if it's, uh, if it's on a New Holland, it could have, potentially could have super steer. So that's a, a deal that the knuckle is actually different on it but as a as a rule the steering knuckle right hand left hand on the majority of these are all the same so there's a few identifiers the three bolt pattern with the circle in the kingpin is isn't an is an identif identifier excuse me so three bolts in a circle now, if it's super steer, you're gonna know that you have a super steer tractor. You may not know that the super steer knuckle is different. And in fact, there's a few other little pieces here that makes it different, but that's I'm trying to just keep the high level pieces today. So here we have a suspended front axles. We have two suspended front axles. Um, 